Good morning, friends and family, and family and friends. Happy Monday the 29th, everyone. Well, here we are, back at home finally from our three-week journey through Egypt. We definitely enjoyed our time there, but it is great to be back to our real estate command center. Bell and I hope you all had a truly awesome weekend. We also hope you have chosen to turn off the doom and gloom news and uh, enjoy the world around you. Uh, it's like this amazing weather, for example. It's just been a fantastic stretch that we've had. And it looks like this awesomeness is going to continue right on through the beginning of July, so we'll take it. This morning, sunrise was at 519 and sunset will be at 838, giving us 15 hours and 19 minutes of glorious daylight to enjoy. Presently, it's 66 degrees outside, give or take a little bit depending on exactly where you live. Today, you should expect partly sunny skies with scattered showers and thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon if they're going to happen at all. Highs are expected to reach the close to 90 degrees today with winds out of the south southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. All right, moving on to birthdays from our family of friends who celebrated their birthdays yesterday on the 28th. Happy birthday, David Olson, Timmy Cullen, Matt Cran, Sarah Angelina Byers, Dustin Weiss, Jeff Aristot, Amanda Ellis, Haley Kedelik, Chanel Marks, Talia Fairfield, Shandell Wendell, Rhonda Robbins, Amy Plager Fister, and last but certainly not least, a friend and mother to one of our awesome son-in-laws, Mary Green. And for today, happy birthday to Trisha Kukendall, Kevin M. Gliskowski, Sue Zimmerman, and last but certainly not least, a friend, past co-worker, and all-around awesome person, Chanel Jardine. Our celebrity birthday shout-out starts with a young American actress who landed her breakthrough role as Veronica Lodge in the Archie Comics television adaptation, Riverdale. She has also starred as Shelby in the comedy The Perfect Date and Tala in the film Home. Camelia Mendez turns 26 today. Our next celebrity got an early start in showbiz when she played the role of Partia in the production of the, production of the Merchant of Venice alongside Al Pacino in Central Park, New York. More recently, she played the role of Sister Mary Eunice in the thrill ride drama American Horror Story. Lily Rabbi turns 38 today. Our next celebrity has been on the big screen for years, but what many people don't know is that he, as a younger man, was a drummer for country stars such as Willie Nelson and Chris Christopherson before becoming an actor. He made his film debut in 1968 movie Wild in the Streets. He went on to star in The Buddy Holly Story in 1978, and he also appeared in Point Break, Lethal Weapon, and Rookie of the Year. His roles in, also in Entourage, Texas Ranger, and Under Siege brought him additional fame. Gary Busey turned 76 today. All right, moving on to this day in history. On today's date, 1956, the Highway Act was signed, authorizing $33 billion for the construction of the U.S. interstate highway system. That's a lot of money in today's world, but it was a staggeringly huge amount back then. It was, and still is, the largest infrastructure project that our awesome country has ever undertaken. But obviously, it was critically important to connect the states in our country for so many reasons. On today's date, 1972, the U.S. Supreme Court bans the death penalty, declaring it cruel and unusual punishment, and therefore in violation of the Eighth Amendment. This ruling was overturned in 1976, allowing each state to decide for themselves. On today's date, 1995, the U.S. shuttle Atlantis delivers a relief crew of two cosmonauts to the Russian Mir space station creating a new era of space cooperation between the two former Cold World rivals. That's cool. And on today's date in 2007, the first Apple iPhone went on sale in stores for the first time. People lined up and waited outside of shops for days to get their hands on this world-changing technology. The long-anticipated phone featured a touch screen with no keyboard, Wi-Fi access, a camera, and the ability to browse the web. Apple stated that they hoped they would take a hold of a significant portion of the mobile phone market with this immensely popular iPhone, and they sure did. You know, this leap forward ushered in the advent of an era of smartphones. It is arguably the most significant advancement for mankind to this day, 
on some levels. For better and worse, it has connected people from around the world through social media platforms, email, live video. It's given us crazy accurate GPS, the ability to shop for groceries, and a calendar that you can use as a personal assistant. I mean, the list goes on and on. It, it's, it's a big deal, and it all started on this day 13 years ago today with Apple's release of that groundbreaking new iPhone. <laughs> all right, on to our comedy corner. I shot a bear in my underwear this morning. What he was doing in my underwear, I'll never know. All right, today is National Car Camera Day, National Waffle Iron Day, and National Almond Butter Crunch Day. Today's morning motivational is a simple, undeniable truth. Believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside of you that is greater than any obstacle. Yep, this is so true, but you have to believe. You define you and you set your goals and define your victories or setbacks because you never lose until you quit trying. It's your life, take it by the horns and have your way with it. You do have the power. All right, well, we've been out trekking around the globe for a while and We've gotten a few phone calls and emails from our family of friends asking what the small little C means for the status of property when people are looking at listings online. Well, it means it's time for a quick review. Real Estate 101 Contingencies The Wisconsin Realtor Association defines contingencies as a particular condition that must be met prior to closing a real estate transaction such as a home inspection to ensure the home has no serious defects, maybe a financial contingency which releases a buyer from the sales contract if the loan um, falls through, or a contingency that a buyer must first sell their current home. You know, in general, the fewer contingencies required of a seller, the stronger a buyer's negotiating position will be, at least in terms of getting the best price. You know, now more times than not, homes go through the process and close without issues. Sometimes deals do fall through because contingencies can't be met. So a person could still write an offer and request to be held in a second position in case a transaction does fall through. It can be a tough, brutal rat race and having an experienced agent, in our case, agents in your corner helps. Remember, buyer's agents never cost you a penny. They are paid from the proceeds of the sale by the listing office. So reach out to us with any questions you may have. Well, we know the market. We know how to navigate the ever-changing world of real estate. You know, remember, we're already working for you. Anyway, Belinda and I do appreciate the time that you spend with us each and every day. Our goal is to offer a mix of entertainment and education in each and every one of our Morning Minute posts. After all, knowledge is power, and we do love to share what we come across. We certainly hope you are enjoying the experience. Please continue to like, follow, and share us with your friends and family. That one's super important. Remember, Belinda and I are real estate agents, very aggressive, very good at what we do. Um, we'd be happy to sit down and talk with you guys and discuss options that you have. Um, but until then, make it a great day. You have the power, and we'll talk soon.